Thank you so much. I'm really excited to talk about our accepted paper to allergy. It's called Vaccines and Allergic Reactions, the Past, comma, the Current COVID-19 Pandemic, comma, and Future Perspectives. And the editors of Allergy were able to work together very quickly to put this review. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about some of the key features in the review. And I wanna thank Yaki and Allergy for this incredible opportunity to reveal some of the very cool items, but I encourage you all to read the full article. In the next slide, it's important as we talk about vaccine allergies to understand the mechanisms. And what's really interesting, and we talk about this in the paper, is that there's many different ways that vaccines and their relative components can activate mast cells and basophils and affect our allergy cells. And in the paper, we review all of these mechanisms, which is really important for all of us as researchers, as allergists to understand because they affect patients and they affect science. So this is an example of one of the figures in the paper where we talk about the FC epsilon receptor and the IgE antibody, but also all the other ways that you're seeing here on the left-hand panel that the mast cell can also be activated by opioid receptors, platelet activating receptors, complement pathways, which seem to be very relevant with the most recent COVID vaccines, and then how hormones also affect these pathways. And you can see in the paper as well, we talk about degranulation and all the effects in the human body with adverse events to vaccines being allergic reactions in this review in particular. In the next slide, we talk about the vaccine reactions as a molecular mechanism, but we also talk about the epidemiology of vaccine-related anaphylaxis. And you can see here, relatively speaking, the rabies vaccine overall has had a higher rate of anaphylactic reactions per million doses compared to others. And so how we see these new COVID vaccines coming together, is gonna to be very important as we talk to our patients and the community and the public health messaging around the fact that Relatively speaking, the types of allergic reactions that we're seeing for the COVID vaccines are very much within the realm of other vaccine triggered anaphylaxis numbers that we've seen, particularly MMRV and varicella, which is noted here as VAR. In the next slide. It's important as we talk to our patients and as we talk to researchers in this review in allergy, we also have much information beyond what's located here on the slides, but I thought we would profile for you some of those key elements in this review that we speak about each of the components in vaccines and the potential relationship with anaphylaxis and which vaccines these components are used in currently in our vaccine platforms. So this is really an exciting area, I think, and I hope that many of you will be involved in research on vaccine allergies, but importantly, as we talk to our patients as to how to manage through the COVID vaccines and any vaccine, that it needs methodical, systematic approaches to science, but importantly, it is still a very rare event. So we wanna make sure that people understand that getting vaccinated is a far improvement and a benefit to society and that we need to understand who is allergic and who might be at risk for allergies, but we need to manage that appropriately and diagnose it objectively. I wanna thank you for your time and I'm excited about this review and I hope you like it too. Thank you.